Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another episode of Myth Busting Monday. So I hope that you guys are well. I hope that you guys ended up having a good week, and let me know how that week did actually go down below in the comments. I really am curious what you guys do in your free time. But anyways, guys, let's get on with this week's episode of Myth Busting Monday. So guys, you clicked on this episode for the title and the thumbnail, and that means that you guys are excited for the final myth, and for the final myth of today's episode we are going to be seeing if it's possible to complete the third chapter of Death Toll without killing Church Guy. Now, I know that might sound a little bit silly. I know that might sound very complicated on paper, but I promise you this will be very simple in practice by the very end, so just stay tuned. If you guys end up enjoying today's video at the very end, please end up dropping a like, comment, and subscribe to show your guys support. And if there's any particular myth that you guys would like to have featured in next week's episode, please put them in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, let's get on with this week's episode of Myth Busting Mondays. Myth, is Coach from Left 4 Dead in Fortnite? All right, I got you. You got you got to admit that I got you there. That was pretty funny. But anywho, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you end up making videos at 2 a.m. in the morning. Anyways, let's get on with the actual myths. Myth, can you die by drowning in Left 4 Dead? Alrighty guys, I am on the finale of Death Toll at the Boathouse, which is one of the only few maps that has enough water to be able to actually make it where you can go underneath of it without killing you instantaneously. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm just going to be going into the very deep end over here and just crouching and making it so that way I'm fully submerged underneath the water so that way Zoe is actually covering her face and we're just going to be seeing if she ends up holding her breath or if the game doesn't allow for the mechanics of being able to drown in the first place but it looks like I stand corrected because she is indeed drowning. Now though, I do just want to clarify that even though I was making it out to seem that I wasn't sure of the results, uh, this particular myth I actually did know the results preemptively. It's just that I wanted to make it fun for those of you that have never known this before because I don't think people in Left 4 Dead actively try to uh, drown themselves. <laughs> So yeah, this myth is confirmed. Now, I know that this may be common knowledge for some of you, but however, though, there is some that may not know this. And even though I knew this, I just wanted to do this just for fun, just for those that did not. Myth. Can you reveal the identity of the plane pilot on the last stand? Alrighty, guys. So in the last stand, we all know at the very beginning of the game, in the first chapter, one of the first things you see is a plane that is crashing. And I just want to see by using no clip once again, like all of our prior myths that are themed around this idea, if we can end up revealing the identity of the pilot. So we're just going to be flying up to where the plane's basically going to go, and we're just going to be looking inside and see if we can see him. So it's kind of a hard angle to get, but we're just going to take a look and just see if there's by any chance we can see who he is. Alright, so as you guys can see, I failed that attempt. In fact, I actually failed on several attempts because I need to get the right angle. But I think that in this gameplay right here, you guys are going to see basically the best perfect angle that I can possibly get. I was literally right in front of him, and we're going to even rewind the footage in slow motion just to be sure. Alright, well that's another character down that we still do not know the identity of. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just for the sake of coding that there are obviously just going to be no characters inside these objects, but I've seen people end up forgetting to remove some stuff later on in some particular games, so I feel like there's going to be something one day that I'll find, and I'll let you guys know if I do find it. Myth, can you play with bots on the last man on Earth mutation? Alrighty guys, now this one is an easy one, but I feel like a lot of people may or may not know this. It's a 50-50 chance because not everyone that plays Left 4 Dead dabbles in cheats. So I just want to, you know, clear up the air and just see if it's even possible. So here I am on Dark Carnival and I'm going to be spawning in some bots, ideally by using console commands. So I'm going to be just going over to certain commands and seeing if I can just spawn in any of the bots. It's going to be either just like the Left 4 Dead 1 bots from the passing, uh, the Left 4 Dead 2 bots in general, it doesn't matter. I just basically want to see if it's even possible if I can spawn in artificial intelligence outside of the AI that just rescues me at the end of the game. So we're going to be trying, and I'm trying to click my buttons right now and right now at the moment they're not showing up i'm getting a clicking sound you guys can't hear in the video but i am actively hitting the button so i am just going to scroll over to a different menu now to see if by any chance that i maybe need to do it with like for example different survivors because the game only ends up accounting for one type of bot not every single type of bot so we're just going to be going over to the next menu now and seeing if by any chance that these survivors the passing survivors can be spawned in now, even though you guys can't hear the clicking, once again, I am actively hitting every single button for Bill, Zoe, Francis, and Lewis in their entirety, and it just simply just does not work. 
So my friends, I'm just going to leave this at busted for now, just because from what I can see from my test results personally, and from what I can see with my very own eyes, because I don't dabble in the Left 4 Dead code, I'm actually just going to leave this at busted and just assume that the game is functioning as intended, but until we find a different way, this is just staying as busted for now. Alrighty guys, so now we've got the last two myths of the episode, and what I want to start doing for Myth Busting Mondays now is showing you guys actually in the video with your comments. So this is going to be by Zoe, which is one of my most loyal subscribers, so shout out to Zoe. Not only is she one of my favorite Left 4 Dead characters, but she also watches one of my videos, so shout out to you Zoe. But uh, yeah, Zoe wants to ask basically two myths, and one of them is the very last one. So for the first one we're going to do before the last one is going to be, is it possible that you can go into the third chapter of Dead Center without trying to end up getting the Cola Challenge done? So that's what we're going to be testing out. So Zoe, I will test that out for you right now. Myth, can you skip the Cola step in Dead Center? Alrighty guys, so all we're literally just going to do is just we're going to be activating no clip on the second chapter of Dead Center, and we're just going to be seeing if we can just fly past Woodtaker's gun shop and just go straight to the safe room without doing anything other than that. We're literally just going to Sonic zoom this, and we're just going to be seeing if we can be able to do it. Alrighty, cue the epic fast motion montage music. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just going to narrate over this part because it's like literally not even like, I think like 15 seconds. Anywho, so as you guys can see, I just warp all the way over to the safe room, but I do need to kill Nick just simply because he's way too far away and he's in capped and I'm lazy. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to be going into the console commands and I'm just going to kill him. And if it does go through and I do kill him and we do start to transition to the cutscene, we know that this indeed works. So I'm going to kill Nick in just a second here. And let's just see if whether or not that we can transition. So I kill Nick, and the cutscene's taking place, and yep, you can do it. You can actually end up doing this. Well, Zoe, one of your two myths is officially confirmed. You can skip the cola step on Dead Center. So that is myth number one by Zoe. But now, guys, we finally transition over to the final myth of today's episode, which is once again asked by Zoe, is it possible to complete the third chapter of Death Toll without killing church guy let's do this myth can you complete death toll without killing church guy Alrighty, guys same logic as last myth we're just going to no clip to the safe room and we're just going to be seeing if we can skip the panic event we're not going to activate the door from the outside and startle church guy we're just going to just show up in the room and now i am curious technically if this is even going to work because it hypothetically could go either way uh, this is actually what I'm just truly unsure about. So, I mean, hey, here goes nothing. So we're just going to go inside the room. We all know that Church Guy is only just a voice. And when we become solid, it technically works. I mean, it's transitioning like normal. All we did was just phase through the door. But we did not actually end up hearing the death sound of Church Guy. In fact, actually, one of the last things that happened before we actually transitioned was him talking, asking if someone was there. So, by a technicality standpoint... Even though the church guy is indeed bit in the story, and we know he's literally moments from turning, from the standpoint of the myth, if we end up using this logic here, then yes, technically you can complete death toll without killing church guy, but we all know based off of how quick it takes him to die on the panic event that he will inevitably die anyway, but it's a cool thing to look at. So yeah, guys, that is this week's episode of Myth Busting Mondays. It was really interesting. We had a lot of unique myths here, and even though they were pretty short, I still end up enjoying them nonetheless, and I hope you guys did too. Thank you once again to Zoe for contributing towards this week's episode. And once again, just like I said at the beginning, guys, if any of you guys have a particular myth that you guys would like to have featured in next week's episode, including have starting them be in the videos now, then by all means, please let me know. Just, of course, end up keeping it clean so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. But anyways, guys, I do hope you ended up enjoying. If you want to check out live, Last week's episode there will always be a end card on screen at the end and if you guys also would like to financially support the channel as well you guys can always check out my patreon is always linked down below in all my youtube video descriptions or you guys can use supporter creator code black ninja 797 in all caps in the fortnite epic games item shops because epic is my very first sponsor and they're sponsoring today's video so shout out to epic games there's no coach skin in fortnite like i was joking around at the beginning but uh you know, I was going to say, hopefully there might be one day, but honestly, I rather would just not see Coach be doing the uh, the default dance. That would probably be, uh, that would probably ruin the game for me. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, let's hope that never happens. But I hope you end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique content creator you're ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you, and peace out. Hey, meme lords. Jesus here. And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god, Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe, too. 
or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too. And give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom.